I must have thought they were in for an entertaining match this evening because the Welsh backs showed that they wanted to play good attacking rugby as early as the third minute with some lovely switch play with them inside backs. They went right the length of the field aided by some back row play and the, the movement went fully 50 metres deep into the heart of the French 22. And it was only a knock on that spoiled the movement. But the first golden opportunity fell to France. It was an infringement at the line by Wales, and they, the French were awarded a penalty. And it was number 10, Piliac, who came up and struck a superb 30-metre penalty to put France in the lead, three points to nil. From a midfield scrum, uh, the French were penalised and that gave Wales their first chance to put points on the board. A penalty kick taken by number 10, Colin Stevens, and he struck the ball beautifully, but unfortunately for Wales, it came off the post. But just watch out for number 7. He gathers the ball. I think he should have been hammered down there, but he st stays on his feet, does very, very well, and he forms the ball. The French forwards come around him, win the ball, and there's a loose pass in midfield, but eventually it's worked out to the left wing, Bertie. Now he shows good flair, good pace, goes on the outside, and when he seems to be hemmed in, he puts in a beautiful kick ahead, keeping the ball into play, and it's gone fully 70 metres, and eventually it's the Welsh fullback, Cormac to the rescue, and he has to force the ball into touch. And one of the disappointing aspects of the Welsh play this evening was the failure of their midfield backs to clear the ball from dangerous positions. They received good ball from the forwards, but on numerous occasions they failed to find touch and put themselves back under pressure, and that made it very hard work for their forwards. And the Welsh get possession and make headway towards the French defence, and the ruck is formed there, but a bit of indiscipline, and number seven, I believe, goes over and kills the ball, and the referee awards a penalty to France. And the, this kick for France, again taken by number 10, Pagliette, was from fully 45 metres. And he proved to be a marvellous kicker. He stroked it beautifully, and from the moment it left his boot, it was there, three points, and that put France in the lead, six points to nil. The Wales began to dominate the line-out through Richard Edwards jumping the front. What a magnificent second half. And they began spinning the ball excellently among their backs. And they had a speedy man in Stephen Backley on the left wing. And in this movement, he shows tremendous pace, goes on the outside, and he beats men and runs deep into the French 22. He's well tackled in the corner, but a swift support there from the Welsh back row and inside centres. And again, the ball is worked back, and beautiful handling by the centres gives wing Davis a chance to go in in the corner and he seems odds on that he's going to score good support play there again by the welsh back row but yet again this excellent french defense gets back there and saves the day for france but again will sensing that barkley on the left wing had the beating of his winger wanted to move the ball to the left and again he goes out to him, and he is going for the corner, showing good pace again. And his tremendous backing up by his captain, De made on the inside. And he looks certain to score again. But yet again, magnificent French defence, and De made is held up inches short of the line. And Wales decide to run a short penalty. And we can see this number seven, Lloyd, he comes on the charge. He had an excellent game, and he drives at the heart of the French defence. And the referee on the spot, awards a penalty against France. And Wales decide that they're going to go for the three points. And a change of kicker, full back, Cormac steps up, he points right between the posts, it's there, and it's Wales' first points, 6-3 to France. And by this stage of the game, France have got two subs on and they are beginning to get chittery. And we can see from this penalty kick to touch, they fail to find touch. And it's Wales is a 
time to show adventure and flair. And they move the ball into the right. Some lovely running by Stevens in the midfield, looking to outflank the defence. And there's a lovely flick pass by one of the Welsh centres, puts Mark Davis away. He shows good acceleration, and he puts the ball deep into the, the French 22. Wales are there in numbers, going driving for the line, and it's only desperate defence foils Wales. And with time running out, Wales are throwing everything into attack. And tremendous play by Ian McKim, the number eight, who again had an excellent game. They work the right-hand side of the field. They go in, probing for weaknesses in the French defence, driving for the line, looking for that magical winning score. They have two or three goals on the right, and it seems that the movement stopped. But they work the ball, and good handling amongst the backs seems to put somebody over in this left-hand corner. But the ball goes loose, but good play by Stevens. Regathers beats a man. He seems to be going over in the corner flag, but he's forced in the touch, inches from the line. And by this time, the French had used four substitutes. And the referee, Mr. McCartney, was obliged to play quite a lot of injury time. And with the dying seconds of the game, Wales were awarded a scrum right on the French line. They put the ball in, a good heel. They seemed to go back and take time, but the ball eventually came out to Stevens. A lovely pass out to the centre hill. He spots half a gap, accelerates through, and he's delighted. Goes over for the winning try. And the boys will be in the dressing room over there, and they'll be delighted, having played a very, very hard game against a vigorous French side. But that try has made all the difference, and now they are two matches in to the winning of the Grand Slam. Alas, the Grand Slam is not to be. Yesterday in Dublin, the Welsh School's senior group went down by 18 points to 16 in Ireland. So the record shows to date two wins.